Hello YouTube, what is up? It's Ghost Squad 57 here, and today I'm going to be doing a gameplay and commentary of Enemy Territory Quake Wars for Linux. Now, before I like to get started, I'd like to give a little backstory on the game. First of all, it's made by Splash Damage, the same people who made the excellent Enemy Territory Wolfenstein. Uh, their latest game is Brink, which was... Eh, it was an okay game. Uh, yeah, they were also behind the porting of the Linux clients of both this game, Quake Wars, and Wolfenstein. Uh, uh, and they did a fantastic job uh, porting these games to Linux because even now, even on modern systems, they run splendid. Like, I haven't had any problems at all. And considering how much Linux systems has changed in the past five or six years. I don't really exactly remember the year this game was released, I think around 2006 or 7. Uh, but considering the change from then, you know, using different sound systems and different drives and all that, I was really surprised just how well uh, games like Quake Wars still runs on Linux. Anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, see your options. You got here, you got Play Online, which lets you play against other competitors. Play on LAN, you know, local area network, lets you play with people uh, who are on your network. Play computer, which is where you just play the bots, persistent stats. This just gives you all your stats, how well you're doing. Uh, options, and there's a good bit of options to play with here, but I'm not really going to get into all that. Alright, anyway, let's just go ahead and jump right into the game. Now, uh, the game's somewhat active, it's community, but it's it's very well mixed. Because you see this slot, this uh, server right here says 24 players, but in reality these are actually bots, which you can see by moving your cuser over here. You want to find a server with quick names like this one, because that uh, quick symbols like this one, because it actually indicates that these are human players, actual people, and not just bots. Anyway, click join server. And you gotta wait a little bit for the game to connect, but that's normal with any online game. And, uh, and once the game loads up, you get to see a little map here, you get to see votes, vote for certain things like kick players, mute player in a chat, you also have admin options, although I'm not an admin, so I can't really do anything to that. Uh, this is where you choose what team you want, Strogs and GDF. Uh, I'm gonna join the GDF, and this and this game has a very diverse uh, classes. Like you have the assault, which is or the soldier, excuse me, which is just your basic assault class. You get to choose from an assault rifle, rocket launcher, uh, heavy machine gun, and a shotgun. And then you have the medic, which is like the soldier, except he can't get as much weapons and he actually has the ability to uh, throw down med packs. The engineer, which is like the medic, except you can't throw down med packs. Instead, you build uh, defensive units, things like turrets and such. It's actually a very, very unique class. The field ops, which is sort of like uh, field ops, which is basically sort of the spy sort of class. Uh, you also get to throw down ammo packs for your teammates. Then we have the Covert Ops, which is the sniper, basically. So we're going to go ahead and go into the Soldier class. We're going to pick the Assault Rifle, click Deploy, and there we go. Uh, let's see. Now you can actually get... There's a lot of vehicles in this game, so I just run up to this vehicle, press G, and I'm actually driving it from a first-person perspective. Uh, this game plays a lot like the Battlefield series. In fact, you'll see a lot of things that are very much like Battlefield. Whoa! Gotta be careful because there's actually friendly fire in this game, so you don't want to run over your teammates. Now I'm gonna hop out on foot and kill some enemies. So you can aim down your sights, which is pretty pretty nice feature. Alright. You can sprint too while holding the shift key. Crouch with circle. Oh, he just killed me. Now, when you get killed, you can either wait for a medic to come heal you, or you can just hit spacebar, and when the timer runs out, you'll instantly respawn.
And yeah, every time you respawn, your character parachutes in, which is kind of cool. So let's go ahead and get on these husky here. You know, the uh, storyline of this game is pretty interesting. It takes place during the Strog and Human War. Yes, the, the same Strogs from the Quake series. That's why they call it Quake Wars, because it's sort of a prequel to the Quake games. I'm not very good at this game, in case you couldn't tell. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit spacebar and let my character die out because there's no way a medic would come out this place. It's way too dangerous. I'm gonna give it one more shot as a soldier and then if that doesn't go out too well, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a engineer class and show you guys the building aspect of the game. Whoa, getting shot at. Wow, well, I, I did not know where I was getting shot from at all. Oh, I didn't switch my classes. But yeah, if you press L, you can bring up the limbo menu, which lets you pick, change your classes, your team, and all that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and be a engineer with an assault rifle. So next time I die, it'll automatically uh, spawn me as a engineer with an assault rifle. See, there's an enemy ship up there launching missiles at my team. If I had a rocket launcher, I could take him down easily. Or if we had a... Uh... Whoa, gotta avoid that. Or if we had some sort of anti-vehicle turret. Oh, there's a guy way up there killing us. But yeah, now I'm in engineer class. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the building aspect of the game. You see, you press 5... And it brings up the pliers, which is used to disarm bombs, I believe. And here's a deploy tool. You left click, and then you actually get to choose what type of building you want to build. See here we have anti-personal, which is used to take out troops. Anti-vehicle, which is used to take out enemy vehicles. And then the artillery vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and put up a vehicle turn, because that there's an enemy vehicle doing some serious damage to us. And I'm going to point this way. Go ahead and switch to a gun. Whoa, I'm getting shot at. Wow, the enemy should not be that close to our base. That is insane. I believe that's a medic. Yep. See here, I just got revived by a medic. And there we go. The anti-vehicle turret has just been deployed, so whenever there's an enemy in the vicinity of it, it will take down the enemy vehicle. Yeah, and another thing this class, the engineer class has, is it can plant landmines by pressing the 6 key. You can switch to landmines and just throw them down so an enemy step over them and kills them. See, that's the anti-personal turn and work. You see it shooting at enemies. Once they get into the range of it. Whoa! See over there, he's shooting at our vehicles. Uh, I can't do much to that thing. There we go, someone took it down. Let's go ahead and see if I can repair this thing with my pliers. See, with the pliers, pressing 5 once brings up the pliers and you can just sort of fix stuff that's damaged. Pressing 5 again is what brings up the deploy tool. Get shot at. Oh, I was in front of the turret and they were shooting me. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Alright, let's go ahead and repair my anti-vehicle turret. Make sure no one gets close to us. Nope, see, there it goes. Shooting down some sort of enemy. It's the artillery unit. Go ahead and repair this. Oh, there's an enemy vehicle. Shot down. So yeah, engineers are very useful in this game. It's always important to have at least one decent one. Oh, enemy. Alright, I finally killed something. <laughs> Whoa. Guy's way up there. Oh, I think I see him. There he is. 
see here my objective is to plant mines but pressing the M key I can actually change what I want my objective to be and uh, completing objectives gives you experience points which levels up your class and gives you perks like being able to sprint faster more land mines stuff like that you know so there's definitely some initiative to do the missions I'm gonna fix this MCP oh I got killed Basically, yeah, escorting the MCP is just a sort of escort mission, as it sounds. You just gotta get this tank to the objective. Oh man, I gotta put my I should really put my anti-vehicle tank or anti-vehicle turret up closer, so that way you can sh shoot that thing down. Oh, he's getting in range of it. There, it's got him. Yeah, it's got him. Oh, I didn't get him. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move my anti-vehicle tank up closer. Let's see here. Anti-vehicle tank. There we go. i got to put it somewhere. It'll let me. Whoa, enemy. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and go medic for a little bit. So that way I can show you guys how the medic class works. Uh, I don't think I'm medic right now. No, i got to die. And yeah, you can aim down the sights with just about any weapon. Although the Strogs, you don't aim down the sights. It sort of does a zoom-in scope effect. Uh, they're in the door right there. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them on the MCP. Top one. Oh, there's an enemy right there. I'll try to take him out. Uh, read the label, it should say. Oh man, I've got no ammo. Oh man, damn thing keeps getting disabled. Whoa! It's an enemy vehicle, the hog. I can't do any damage to that. Whoa! Now, hopefully when I die, I can spawn as a medic. Show you guys the medic class. Alright, here we go. So with the medic, uh, pressing 5 brings up your defibrillators, which lets you revive fallen teammates. 6 is the med pack. Left click, throw it down. Teammates can pick it up for life. Uh... Six is some sort of supply crate. I'm not too sure what that is. Anyway, yeah, let's just go ahead and see if we can revive. Alright, uh, enemy's been down for too long. Ah, oh, damn it! Got killed. Someone's planting landmines in our spawn. Whoa! That killed him. Let's go ahead and throw down some med packs. Not too sure where. Alright, there's some medics down here. There's people down here. Oh! Yeah, not a very good medic. Alright, that guy. How ironic, a medic being revived by another medic. Alright, let's go ahead and pick up my own kits. Oh. See if I can... Incredibly lost right now. <laughs> Whoa, my teammates are getting bombarded by something. Let's go ahead and switch to med kits, throw them down. And yeah, my teammates, that way when they start getting shot, they can just run over them and heal. Oops, there's one teammate. Seems like he needs some health. So there we go, just keep throwing them down. Oh, let's be methodical with my approach. Oh, I think someone's down. Whoa. Oh, he's been dead for too long. Damn it. Yeah, medic is one of the more is definitely one of the harder classes to play because you have to be a very you have to be assaultive while also uh, attending to your teammates, which can be a little challenging. All right here we go. Go ahead and throw them down. 
Oh, bumping into my teammates there. Oh man, that turret's gonna be active in eight seconds. Oop, hopefully I can revive him. Oh wow, there's way too many enemy, too much enemies here. I should not have came to this spot. Oh, I think I killed something. I'm not too sure. Oh no, I almost did though. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna switch to a different class pretty soon because I'm not doing a very good job as a medic. Whoa! Oh, he's down. So they always completely die before I'm able to revive them. Just that bad of a medic. Enemy. Alright, let's hurry up and get through here. Whoa, enemy! Whoa, landmine! Oh, that sucks. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's go covert ops. Oh, damn it, respond too fast. I'm gonna have to die. Enemy hog. Oh, look at that, might be able to revive someone. Oh. They're not waiting for medics at all, these people are impatient. Alright, let's revive him. Oh, wow, I got killed by a teammate who ran me over. That's ridiculous. What a great driver. Anyway, alright, now I'm a sniper. A silenced pistol, that's cool. I didn't know snipers had that. Oh, that's an enemy. <laughs> I was distracted so much by the pistol that I just sort of... died without even paying attention. It's an enemy in our spawn. Oh. Yeah, I'm not very good at this game, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> Alright, I think there's an enemy up there. Yeah, I think, I believe there's an enemy up there. I'm not too sure. Uh, he's dead. But yeah, since we did the objective here, this is now our spawn point. We sort of took it from the Strogs. What do I have here? I have a hacker. I believe I can hack enemy vehicles with this. Third eye camera, what does that do? Uh, okay, let's me view the camera, so that way I can see if enemies are coming. L1, or left click pulls it up. That's cool. Neat little thing. Alright, let's go ahead and snipe. Whoa, that's an enemy Cyclops, which is like one of the better vehicles. Ah! Oh, wow, that was coming, that was barreling straight towards me. I probably should have got it out of the way instead of trying to shoot it. I'm gonna go ahead and go soldier though. It's because that's a class I know I can play. Alright. It's kind of cool landing in with the parachute. It's pretty fun. Alright, let's stay clear of the driveway so that way no one runs me over. Aww. There's only about a minute left into this match. Yeah, we're probably going to lose this match. I don't think there's any way we can win this. Not with one minute left. Wow, the enemies are all over our spawn. Bad time to reload. I'll wait for a medic. He can't be too far. Yeah, I don't see any medics. I'm just going to go ahead and wait for the next reinforcements wave. Alright, hopefully I can get on these huskies before my teammates do. Mine! Alright, there's only about 10 seconds left anyway, so it doesn't really matter that I got this. I can't get very far. I forgot to mention there's leaning in this game. Ah! Die! 
All right, the strong won that round. I'm gonna rage quit. <laughs> All right, disconnect. Anyway, uh, this is the end of my little enemy territory Quake Wars Let's Play. Uh, if you feel like there's something you liked about the video or disliked about about the video, please remember to mention it in the comments section. Uh, I'm always looking for feedback. I'm always looking to improve. So again, please make sure you leave feedback. Uh, anyway, Ghost Squad 57 signing out.